So for part A, when it's asking what will the rate be measured by an observer also on the ship, because the observer is on the ship, they are in the same reference frame. So what this means is the heart rate is going to also be 70 beats per minute. Now for part B, we're going to be using the time dilation formula. So we have the time dilation is equal to the proper time divided by 1 minus the velocity over the speed of light squared. The next thing we need to think about is what is our proper time? Well, we have the rate here. We have 70 beats per minute. Let's go ahead and invert that rate so that we get for every one minute we have 70 beats that right there we're going to use that rate for our proper time so delta tp is equal to 1 over 70 minutes per beat now we can go ahead and plug in these variables into our equation so we'll get that the time dilation is equal to 1 over 70 minutes per beat divided by the square root of 1 minus 0 0.90 times the speed of light divided by the speed of light squared so when we simplify that, notice that you can cancel out the speed of light constant. And then when you go ahead and find the numerical value, you'll get 0 0.03277 minutes per beat. Now the question is asking, what will the rate be? So we need it in beats per minute. What we're going to do is we'll invert this delta T value. So we'll get 1 divided by 0 0.03277. And that gives us the answer of 30.5 beats per minute.